happy days. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video. I got this um, Rouge Letter folding knife in the post today. This is something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, I've had a Leatherman and I have had a tiny Swiss knife, but the thing with those are the Leathermans are, you know, it's kind of a nice tool to have uh, when you're on a farm, but the knife is crap and basically everything else is crap on it. You have to basically buy a Leatherman in the range of two, three hundred dollars to make it work properly. But the thing is, was I've been missing is actually a, a good solid mine. You probably saw that in the gardening video when I was cutting up some some rope. That what I have there is not what would you call a, a really good mine. So I decided to go for a Norwegian brand, um, Wurzletto, and they make high quality knives. Uh, so I went in the mid range. When I say mid range, they cost around. A uh, hundred dollars. I want to have a folding knife. I do have some hunting knives that you put in a sleeve and have attached to your belt. But it's kind of it's kind of awkward to walk around with that, especially when you're working, sitting down, and all this. And a folding knife, a smaller folding knife, would be much much better. So, what we're going to do today today is open it up and see what we got. Uh, hopefully, this will look okay as I rigged. I rigged the camera in an awkward position, but hopefully you'll be able to see. So, it comes in a nice little box. So this is what it looks like on the outside. A lot of cardboard. So the knife looks like this. Um, I got my name engraved. The whole knife is uh, 21 centimeter and the blade is roughly 10 centimeter. So it's uh, it's small, which is good. So you, when you have it in the pocket, it's not, it will not get in the way when you're crouching down or, or working. It's easy to open with this, I don't know what you call this, but you just press and the knife comes out. So it looks like this. The nice thing with this knife, some of the folding knives are what I call a little bit dangerous. It doesn't have this stopper here. So when you put it in your hand like this and you start working around, it's easy for your, your index finger, I believe this is, to slide out. So the, here you have a nice stopper. So it makes it a little bit more safer to use. In order to fold it back, you just press in here and it folds easily back. And that's the problem with the Leathermans is to, when you fold up the Leatherman or a Swiss knife, it takes a, a lot of effort just to, to get it out. This one, with a proper folding knife, it's quite easy just to open it up like this, and it locks into position, and you just press in there, and it stays locked. So this is a high-grade high quality steel. Uh, this is Björk, uh, which is per birch, birch, I believe in English. The bolts and nuts are ceramic, and it also comes with a nice clip, uh, which you can deattach if you want. I probably will I probably will deattach this because it makes it a little bit thicker as you see. When you have it in pocket it's not really necessary to have this. Every farmer should have a proper folding knife. I had one back in the days uh, which I got from my grandfather. Uh, unfortunately I lost that. I've been dwelling over many years to, to get a full, proper folding knife. So this is the time I decided to go for Brusletto. There are two big knife producers in Norway. It's called Hella and Brusletta, and they're mainly making hunting knives. And uh, Brusletta, they have um, three folding knives. There is one very expensive, because around two and a half thousand Norwegian, which is a lifetime warranty, and it's a high grade, uh, very high grade steel. But that's a little bit out of my price range at the moment. When I start making a lot of money on YouTube, I will probably upgrade. So yeah, that's all for now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hopefully this will work out good. Um, this is another Bruce Letter knife. That's a hunter knife, which I borrowed from my dad. So I will just open it up like that. Oh, Jesus. 